Clean up. What's up, yo? It's your boy Bravo back on the bike outside. I'm rolling with SB and we're going to get wifey. Today's moto vlog, we're going to talk about taking a little pride in your ride and washing the bike. What? What's the... You know, we always get compliments and we have a method. I don't think it's anything groundbreaking, but I'm hoping that I can reach some individuals that are maybe new to the riding community and uh da -da 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 -da. Uh, I do some shit like that and then I get a cramp because I'm an old man pedaled by the biker <laughs> so what's our method for washing the bike we get a lot of compliments we put a lot of effort into taking care of these machines and getting some fun out of them and getting some bonding out of them and togetherness and making some memories. <laughs> cruising the streets here and there around upstate New York. So, two buckets. That's, that's number one. A couple supplies you're gonna need if you're gonna be doing your chain and sprocket, get the cleaner for it. All right, and uh, get the brush, get the get the cleaner for the wheels. You know, you gotta break that brake dust up, and bike stands. That's a must. Gotta have the bike stands. So, and then I would recommend a garden. Or we use a garden hose. We do not intentionally have pressure washers. We don't use pressure washers. We'll never use pressure washers. It's not the right tool for the job. There are some exceptions to that rule. If you don't have a garden hose, you live in an apartment or whatever, you know, you gotta hit the car wash. But that's for another time, and it'd probably be better if I just showed you how we did that instead of uh, instead of freaking explaining it, right? The lion's share of people washing their bikes should be doing it with the two buckets. One's a wash bucket, one's a rinse bucket, we got the bike up on the stands. We're out of the shade. It's earlier or a little later in the day. Never in direct sunlight. Not in the heat of the day. Unless you're like going to a wedding or something, you're gonna take your bikes, pull up like, you know, top G. Sure, you gotta do what you gotta do in that situation. But try and do it earlier part of the day, later part of the day. Bikes on the pit bull stands makes the best stands if you're wondering, that's what I think. I don't have them. Uh, my boy back in the day, he had them, and uh, they're the best. If you need stands, get Pitbull stands. Made in the USA and awesome. So bikes on stands, chain, let's say chain and sprocket have been sprayed down, then go fill your buckets up. You're gonna have like nice little microfiber that, uh, like a detail one for a car. Shouldn't be a big old clunky uh, cumbersome freaking car microfiber sponge. It should be like a tiny little mitt. We have ours like a triangle. And, um, and then we have a, a brush, like a microfiber brush. And then out, um, we have a few like bristle brushes. We have a wheel brush. Then we have like a scrub brush. So, and then we use a uh, foam cannon. So the foam cannon right allows you to turn the, the suds off and you have just like a nice cascade of uh, low pressure water to wet the bikes down and to rinse the bikes so we'll wet them down spray the tires for you know with any wheel cleaner the uh sh sb is doing some some wheelies all right all right up in 87 southbound um so the buckets get filled halfway minimum with water and then and then from there what we do is we put a little at the end so we can watch our water level and not be blasting suds everywhere we just put a little soap in the wash bucket and then we have one of those bottom things like a grate so our mitts that we throw in there our brushes they don't get, uh, they don't come in contact with the dirt on the, uh, bottom of the bucket. So, 
You wet the bikes down, you hit the wheels, get your wash bucket, you're gonna go from the highest point of the bike to the lowest. And you're gonna hit that rinse bucket and then the wash bucket to get some more soapy water on there. Even though it's covered in suds, you know, this should only take you a few minutes. You wanna move with a purpose and use the tools, the uh, resources available to you. Like the uh, microfiber, you know, the long skinny one that lets you get in the nooks and crannies and, and the wheel brush to loosen up that brake dust and clean the calipers. And, and then uh, when you're done, you just grab that foam cannon and you switch it back to, uh, to water only and rinse the bike off. Then we use like a little leaf blower, little electric leaf blower and we blow the bikes off and then and with the uh, hit them with the chamois and, and you do that like multiple times it's just back and forth blowing out the nooks and crannies and then hitting it with the chamois remove the moisture from the equation when you're done with all the, that, all that, which will take you half the time it takes us because we're doing two bikes, uh, and it's all dry, put it on the side stand. You might find a little more water is gonna just start dripping that way. You gotta blow out the fairings. You gotta blow out the, the radiator fins. All that's gotta get blown out. And, uh, then you can wheel it into a garage and do like a detail, like a ceramic coat, you know, rewipe your mirrors, you know, just remove it. There shouldn't have any water spots, but, you know, remove any of those uh, stubborn residues and, and uh, things that are just like caking around the baby drivetrain, chain area. Give it a good detail. And, uh, and that's it. That's how you do the bike, yo. Nice, clean bike. And then you can take it anywhere. And you're taking pride in your ride. You're taking care of stuff. Another benefit of washing your bike is you're getting intimate with it. You're looking at things. You're touching them. You're getting in there. And you're going to know if something is off. You're gonna hopefully recognize that and catch something in more of the closer to the preventative stage or early stages of a potential issue as opposed to your bike being down for whatever reason and now you're in a reactive situation. Look at this guy in the ST Explorer. Little chill, little chill ride down 87 southbound. Oh, I guess you know what? I am recording a moto vlog. I kind of, it kind of slipped my mind. So, uh, so now we do the conclusion, I guess, right? Any, any, uh, any links to products? Like, keep an eye on this video. If you don't see affiliate links right away, we're working on it. They're gonna be there. That just lets us get a little bit of cut of your action from Amazon or wherever we're finding these parts. We get set up with affiliate wash supplies specifically here. We'll put like everything as either exactly what we're using or close enough stuff. But we're not going to put any garbage. If it's a question mark, we'll leave it out and we'll put a note so you can find something better.
vlog while live streaming. I'll show you what that's like. I think it'd be informative, possibly helpful. We do have, um, let's see, let's pick a topic. Let's pick a topic. We'll do, oh, let's do the bike wash.